Today we're going to be tackling this really simple render in Blender. Shouldn't take you guys too long to uh, make and it's quite easy to follow. So yeah, just follow the tutorial and you'll get something a bit like this. On a side note, feel free to check out my Instagram page and tag me in your version of this render because I'd love to see what you guys are doing with the tutorials I'm putting out. Right, on with the tutorial. So once you've got Blender open, first thing we're going to do is delete the default cube. So hit X and delete. Now hit Shift A. We're going to add a mesh and we're going to add a UV sphere. Now hit S and then 8. So we scale that up to 8. Now click on your camera. We're going to hit Alt G to reset the location. So if you zoom in, you see it's inside the sphere. And then we're going to hit Alt R just to reset the rotation. Now we're going to hit R, X, 90 just to face the camera along the Y axis. And if you hit zero, you can toggle in and out of camera mode. Now click on your sphere and we're going to go into edit mode. So hit tab, come to edge and you want to select edge split. Now if you come out of edit mode, we're going to come to our modifier section here, this little spanner, and we're going to select add a new modifier. And we're going to add a smooth modifier. Now add another modifier. Now we're going to add a solidify modifier. And now add another modifier and we're going to add a wireframe modifier. Now you want to drop the thickness of your wireframe to about 0.001. And now we can start playing around with the thickness of the solidify modifier. So just pump that up, we'll say about there maybe, around the 30 mark. And if you hit zero, you can come into camera mode and you can sort of see what's going on there. Now I'm going to click on camera and I'm just going to change the focal length. Just going to drop that down to about here. Now come back to your sphere. We're going to add another modifier and we're going to add a displace modifier and it's going to look really ugly. So you want to make sure that the displace modifier is at the top. So this one with the triangles, keep clicking on this arrow until you get it to the top. Now you want to add a new texture and you want to come to this section here, change your type to clouds and we'll leave as it is. And now we're going to start animating this displacement. And the way we do that is we add an empty. So hit shift A, add an empty, add an empty cube. And we're going to bring the timeline up. So just come down here. We're going to make it a five second animation. So change the end to 120. Make sure you have your empty clicked. We're going to come to the transform settings here. And we're just going to rotate it on the Y axis. So on your first frame, come to the rotation on the Y axis, apply a keyframe, come to frame one to one and change axis Y to 360 and apply a keyframe. And you'll see now this empty spins. But as you can see, it sort of uh, smooths out as it comes to an end. So the way we make that a constant sort of uh, animation, come to the timeline, hit A, T, change that to linear and now when you hit play you're going to see a constant rotation now next step is to assign the empty to the displacement of the sphere so if you come back to your sphere now come back to the modifier section on texture coordinate on your displace modifier change that to object and this little thing is going to pop up here change object to empty now when you hit play now this empty is affecting the uh, displacement of the mesh and we can tame that out a bit by just scaling the empty up because obviously it's a bit strong. So just click on your empty, hit S and just scale that up, say to about, about 40 I think. Now I'm just going to put the thickness of the wireframe up a bit and I'm going to turn my overlays off. So over here click there, turn your overlays off and I'm just going to pump that thickness up a bit say 0 0.002 and I'm going to drop the strength down a bit. And you can play, again, you can play around with your camera focal length. If you want a more wide angle, I think 25 is a good spot on the focal length. Great. Now we're going to start lighting the scene. So we're going to jump into rendered mode. So hit Z and then eight. And the first thing I'm going to do is come to my world settings here. I'm going to change the color to black. So bring that down. We're going to leave this light where it is. So hit Shift A, add a point light, and we're going to pump the wattage up to about 300. And we're going to make this one a deep red. 
Now hit Shift D, and we're going to make this one a cooling blue. I'll name this one red light, this one blue light. So on your red light, you want to hit G, X, 4. And on your blue light, we're going to hit G, X, minus 4. Now we're going to add another empty. So hit Shift A, add empty, empty cube. We're going to rename this light empty. Now you're going to click on your red light, click on your blue light while holding control. Click on your light empty last and hit control P and we're going to select object keep transform. That's going to parent these lights to the empty. So now when we rotate the empty, it's going to, the lights are going to follow the path of the rotation. So we are going to click on our light empty and on the Z axis, apply keyframe on the first frame. And then on frame one, two, one, we're going to do 360 on the Z and apply a keyframe. And again, A, T, set the interpolation to linear and let's hit play and see what that looks like. That's looking good. Now click on your sphere. We're going to add a material. So add new material. We're going to bring the base color down a bit. And we're going to pump the metallic up. Actually, keep actually pump the uh, base color up to white. I think that looks better. And if you want different square patterns, you can come to your modifier section and you can play around with the factor of your smooth modifier. If you want yours to look different to mine, you can really do anything you want. But I'm going to leave it around here. Now, we're going to come here, add some bloom, pump it up a bit and we're going to come to color management and we're going to make it very high contrast and drop the gamma down to about 0.9 we're just going to render the animation now so come to your scene settings come to this output setting save it somewhere you can find it file format set that to ffmpeg video encoding we'll set that to mp4 output quality we'll put perceptually lossless and then all you got to do is come to render and then hit render animation and you're done. Right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you feel like you learned something from this, please hit the like button and subscribe as it really helps me grow the channel. I'll be leaving a link to the project file on my website. Uh, you can find that at nevmotion.co.uk.